On July 18, the Securities and Exchange Commission SIC abruptly canceled a meeting scheduled to occur behind closed doors without providing any explanation. Some think this action is connected to the approval procedure for spot Ethereum exchange traded funds, ETFs. It is injective injective that breaks through the key resistance, creating the conditions for WANA analyst blast off seven hours ago. Confused cryptocurrency community regarding the cancellation of meeting there has been a noticeable upheaval in the Bitcoin market as a direct result of the quick, unexpected change of heart. Ripple's native token, XRP, declined eight, reaching a 24-hour low of 58 cents. Trade volume was also lower, but it increased by 20%, indicating that investors are interested despite the uncertainty. There's been a flurry of feelings experienced by the global XRP community. The prospect of a meeting of the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC behind closed doors, which may potentially hold the key to a resolution in the ongoing case with Ripple, loomed big. As a result of speculation, the price of XRP immediately skyrocketed. This, however, was swiftly put out by the sudden cancellation of the meeting by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Shockwaves were sent through the cryptosphere when the news of the cancellation was announced. Uh, Various hypotheses were proposed to explain the cause of it. Some people have hypothesized that the Securities and Exchange Commission might be giving spot Ethereum exchange traded funds, ATFs, a higher priority in the approval process. Uh, Some others were concerned that it was an indication of a setback in the Ripple case. A much needed update on the meeting was provided by an update that was posted on the website of the Securities and Exchange Commission. XRP holders have a glimpse of hope thanks to a recent development that has occurred. Based on the latest information, it appears that the meeting was not completely canceled, but rather postponed by one week. According to reports, the website of the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC has published a fresh Sunshine Act notice that is identical to the one that was published for the meeting on July 18. One week from now, a meeting is planned to take place, and this fresh notification provides the same information regarding the date, time, location, and closed-door status. It is interesting to note that the subject matter has not changed. The only difference is that the new notice does not include the phrase institution and settlement of injunctive actions. Only this is the only exception. There is a glimmer of hope for the XRP community as a result of this new development, which indicates a new dimension has been added to this ongoing drama by the prospect that the meeting may take place the following week, even though the short-term prognosis is still unknown. This optimism on the other hand, stands in stark contrast to the events that occurred yesterday. The sexy meeting was canceled, which is a blow to XRP, even though Ripple or XRP were not specifically mentioned on the schedule for the conference. Many people had their hearts set on the possibility of a settlement between the Securities and Exchange Commission and Ripple. Nevertheless, the cancellation created significant speculation, which resulted in a drop of more than 8% in the price of XRP. A combination of factors, including the date of the meeting and the transfer, had contributed to the optimism of investors. After all, the the lawsuit that the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC filed against Ripple, in which it asserts that XRP is an unregistered security, has cast a lengthy shadow over the whole history of the cryptocurrency. A settlement might have brought about the much-needed clarity that was required, and it might have also cleared the path for the widespread acceptance of XRP. However, such hopes appear to have been dashed considering that the meeting had been canceled at this point. The SEC is shifting its attention to Ethereum exchange-traded funds considering the recent announcement of additional approvals. There are market observers who believe that the SEC's attention may have switched to the forthcoming launch of spot Ethereum exchange-traded funds, ETFs, and ETFs. Reviewing the S1 filings that are associated with these Ethereum exchange-traded funds appeared to be the SEC's top priority rather than holding a meeting behind closed doors. The most recent update stated that the meeting that was supposed to take place behind closed doors was postponed, rather, uh, suggests that this change in priority could be the cause. A week has been added to the postponement of the meeting as a result of this. While those who have XRP are left in a state of uncertainty as a result of this realignment of priorities, the community continues to be unwavering. Despite the significant price decline and the current uncertainties, there is a continuous belief in the long-term potential of XRP which reflects a steady commitment in the middle of the changing regulatory landscape. Even if the meeting is rescheduled, the fact that the revised notice does not include any settlement discussions does not guarantee that a resolution will be reached shortly. Regardless of the outcome of the conference, 
The complaint filed by the SEC continues to give XRP a negative reputation. The importance of this Ripple's meeting with the a prospective delay provides holders of XRP with a reprieve. Yet the absence of a reference to the settlement of injunctive actions adds a layer of ambiguity to the existing situation. There is a lot of speculation in the market that the decision made by the SEC might have anything to do with the procedure that allows spot Ethereum exchange traded funds to be approved. There are several of these funds that have already been granted preliminary authorization, and they were due to begin trading the following Friday. Regarding the fluctuation of the price of XRP in this volatile market, technical specialists are paying close attention to the situation. Javon, a well-known analyst, discovered a chart pattern that is similar to the bull run that XRP has been experiencing recently. The symmetrical triangular pattern that has been expanding since 2018 is consistent with the trend that occurred between 2014 and 2017. The price of XRP may reach a level that is higher than $237 as Javon has expressed his prediction. Even though this forecast is quite optimistic, it is consistent with the way things have been in the past and demonstrates that things have the potential to improve from where they're currently. Demand for XRP was affected on Thursday as a result of the news that the SEC had decided to cancel its closed meeting. Settlements, various enforcement processes, and the disposal of litigation claims were among the topics that were up for debate. The SEC's preparations to appeal against findings from the case were put on hold as a result of the cancellation of the closed meeting, which dimmed prospects of a settlement that may halt those efforts. There were no explanations provided by the SEC for the cancellation, and the agenda did not specify whether or not Ripple would be. The Securities and Exchange Commission is required to publish notice of meetings and a basic agenda by the Sunshine Act. However, it is not required to provide a list of attendees. This week, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse hinted that he is unable to reveal his conversations with the Securities and Exchange Commission share. Because there has been no movement made toward a settlement, investors are pondering the possibility that Ripple will be required to pay a penalty for breaking a securities laws by selling unregistered XRP to institutional investors. Ripple was found to have violated us securities regulations according to a ruling that was handed out by Judge Annalisa Torres in July of 2023. Everything explained in this video is summarized from the coin market cap. And also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for future XRP news and some other cryptocurrency news in general. The information that has been provided is not intended to be trading advice. There is no responsibility for any investments that are made based on the information that is provided on this page. Before making any decision about investments. We strongly advise conducting independent research in half or consulting with a knowledgeable professional.